Welcome to a brand new edition of The Dish. I'm Stephanie Winarski. I'm Maureen Riley. And I'm Jenny Shiara. And well, Jenny, welcome to your first ever Dish appearance. Yeah, I know, I'm so them. honored, I'm excited. So why don't you start us off this week? What are we talking about? The royal engagement. After years of speculation, Prince William and Kate Middleton are finally getting engaged. Now, they started dating nine years ago, they met 10 years ago. So for the last nine years, people have been wondering, will they get married? When will they get married? And finally, they are at the age of 28. Hmm. He proposed to her with his mother's engagement ring, which is worth $500,000. It's a massive sa sapphire covered in diamonds. So it's That's pretty a nice. Pretty petty. And finally, they're going to get married in 2011 in Westminster Abbey. However, since they've gotten engaged, she's under princess training, which means people are around her all the time telling her what fork to use, when to lose weight, not to lose weight, and what clothing to wear. And she has bodyguards around her all the time. So the lack of privacy probably sucks for her, but, you know, that ring, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait Katie's getting married. Bit. Yeah, so. She had to change her name back to Catherine. Because they were course. like, Kate's not formal enough. Good for her, you know, yeah. land that prince. But at the same time, she's been waiting for this for like, what, eight years now? Yeah. And at the same time, there's so many lists of things that you lose. Like, I read an article and they're like, no, she can't spend Christmas anymore with her family. She has to do this. Like, she only gets 100 invites to the wedding, but even though they're inviting about, like, 2,000 people. Oh, my gosh. It's what? ridiculous. No, they really cut they... those strings. They don't like your family. She's from coal miners. She comes from yeah, a family of coal miners. Yeah, she's a commoner. So, Ooh. good for her. She made it. I know. But that dress you wore during the engagement announcement has sold out. I know. And they're trying to, like, recreate it and sell it all over the place. I know. That's what happens when you're a princess. Everything you touch turns to gold. I know. And she's on every tabloid. And every I know. Every cover. I saw everything. It's all her. Mm -hmm. And all this memorabilia with both of their images are being sold, like plates and vases. So yeah. you can get anything with her face on yeah. it now. So that's nice. Well, congratulations, Prince William. Mm -hmm. And uh, Prince Harry, I'm available for the wedding. <laughs> Just open it up. Right, and our okay. next topic. Well, thanks for that stuff. In <laughs> other news, um, the Oscar hosts have been announced for the 83rd annual Oscars, which will be airing on February 27th. And it's, drum roll please, <laughs> Anne Hathaway and James Franco. Surprise. So Anne Hathaway was involved in the opening number when Hugh Jackman hosted the Oscars a couple years ago. And I think it was really just only a matter of time until she took charge herself. And James Franco, I mean, everyone just loves him, so that's great that he's hosting, too. Yeah. It's really surprising, because normally you have older people, older male yeah. comedians, so this should be interesting. James Franco, what a dark horse to pick. Like, I know. What, a, what is he doing? He's actually, what is he doing? I'm going to answer my own question for you. He's teaching a drama class at Yale right now, and he's been in, you know, a couple movies, but, like, that's what he's primarily doing, is educating the future of drama with, mm. uh, you know, those Yale students. <laughs> but... Anne Hathaway, I, I'm excited for her. I don't know if she's going to be funny, though. Which, she I don't she know. can sing, though. She can I bet sing. she's going to be singing a lot. I know. I feel like... I bet that's she funny. was all right in SNL. She was pretty good. Depends mm. what they write for her. I, I know. It's going to be a lot of, like, you know, what material do they have to work with. And yeah. I guess that's also kind of taking the Oscars back to a more formal setting without, you know, a comedic host. And yeah. will there be a big opening number? We like that. Mm. I like that. Well, yeah. they're trying to get us, the youth, to watch. So hopefully that'll drive up ratings. Is this because we all saw nice. Anne Hathaway's... And, uh, I mean, I saw dogs. that like five years ago, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, and Havoc. Wow, she's Ooh. been topless in a lot of movies. Wow, and Havoc makes for a good host, I think. <laughs> topless at the Oscars. Yes, wow. classy yeah. affair. So Ooh. tune in. <laughs> I will be sure. <laughs> Moving on to our final topic of the evening, another person that I would like to take me on a date, Justin Bieber, is making a 3D oh, yeah. concert movie. Never say never. Now, I've seen the ad for it multiple times. It's been spoofed on a couple of <laughs> random like, sites. And it's, it's about his rise to fame. I saw it on the big screen at the TD Garden when he was here. And it's just like, I don't understand how he can have a 3D movie about his rise to fame. He's only been famous for about a year. And granted, he has a very interesting backstory about how he got found on YouTube. And Justin Timberlake and Asher had the war, bidding war over him. But where is this movie going to end to? Like, what conclusion are we going to draw at the end? Like, Justin Bieber, still famous. Like, Justin Bieber, still young. Girls really like him. I don't know. They're really trying to get as much money out of him as they can before he goes through puberty. Yeah. And he can't sing as well anymore. But what about this whole trend of, like, 3D concert movies? How do we feel about this? I thought it should have stopped with Hannah Montana, personally. Yeah. But I think all these teeny boppers really need to thank Miley Cyrus because she, like, set the path for all of them. It's That's true. My she did make it, I'll and then the Jonas Brothers one bombed. I mean, so this is like Ooh. this is taking a chance because if this one bombs, like it could be the end of Justin Bieber. But I doubt it's gonna bomb. It's all about timing with no. these things. Yeah, 
I saw a preview for it while watching Tangled over the weekend, so it'll probably mm -hmm. aiming at all the children. I'm sure it'll be a hit. Never say never. Never so say girls, never. I have that on my iPod. I'm sure lots of girls everywhere will be watching this movie. Yeah. Uh, Justin oh. Bieber's here to stay. Okay. There will so, surely be some shrieking in the uh, <laughs> Until he gets theater. older and looks weird. <laughs> He'll be here. Yeah. Well, he's either going to go through like a really awkward phase or like come out and everyone's going to be like, wow, this is what you turned into? Great. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm thinking it'll probably be the former, but let's, let's hope. Yeah, well, we'll see. Yeah. But hope you'll turn out like Miley, who's 18. Happy birthday, Miley. Happy birthday, Miley. Well, now that I've pleaded for two dates on this show, which is a <laughs> record for me, I think uh, we should wrap it up for this week. Yes. So until next time, BC, you've just been served the, the dish. dish.